Good, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mark Mastur, Dean of Kent State's College of Architecture and Environmental Design, and welcome to the 2020 lecture series, a series that as a result of the pandemic has gone virtual, and in doing so, we've gone global. And to all of you on Zoom or our YouTube channel, welcome. Be sure to tag our social media and watch for the many events coming your way as the college commits to bringing exemplary thought leaders and best practices to you. So now it gives me great pleasure to welcome Carme Pinos, an architect whose work I've long admired. This lecture is only possible because of the generosity of Hassenstab Architects, who three years ago established the Hassenstab Lecture, bringing exceptional accomplished architects to our community of learners. Hassenstab Architects with offices in Akron and Cleveland is a full service multidisciplinary award-winning firm with extensive healthcare education laboratory, commercial design experience, and even most recently a zoo. But it's fair to say that as architects, they're prepared to take on the design of any building type with a commitment to making environments that are healthy and inspiring. Hassan Staub Architects, I know you're out there. Thank you. You're making a difference in our community. And now I want to turn to Yvonne Bernal, Program Director of the Architecture and Urban Design Program, who will introduce this afternoon's guest speaker. Welcome everyone uh, to this edition of the lecture series here at Kent State Architecture, College of Architecture and Environmental Design. Uh, before we start the introduction, I wanna encourage all of you to think of a couple of questions and send them through the chat to Brendan Ho. Brendan Ho will be collecting those questions and then he will take it after Carmen finishes the lecture and he would convey those questions for, for our conversation after. So it gives me great, great pleasure to introduce Carmen Pinos. I, admire her for a very, very long time, going back probably to my undergrad education. Carmen Pinos is a graduate in architecture, urbanism and landscape architecture from Barcelona School of Architecture. Uh, she shared a studio with Enric Miralles for three years from 1982 to 1991. Uh, not from three years, for nine years. Uh, and then went on to set up her own firm, the studio Carmen Pinos. Since then, she has worked on numerous projects ranging from urban refurbishment and public works to furniture design. Her sharp approach to design, anchored by a constant focus on experimentation and research, has made her work garner worldwide recognition at the same time that Barcelona architecture had cemented its own identity and reputation through the European and South America, through Europe, South and North America. In her most significant work, we can find the M, M Pavilion of from 2018 in Melbourne, Australia, the architectural set composed by Gardunia Square, Massana School of Arts at Housing Block, and the West Facade of the popular La Boqueria Market in the historical district of Barcelona in Spain. The Vienna University of Economics and Business in Austria, the Catalan government headquarters in Spain, and the Cube One and Cube Two Towers in Guadalajara, Mexico. In 2018, in 2015, she was honored with the Crew de saint George B. Medal, one of the highest civil distinctions awarded by the Catalan government to individuals and organizations for the cultural and social services. She reserved, received the first prize at the 2008 Spanish Biennial of Architecture, the National Award for Public Architecture by the Catalan government in 2008, and the National Architecture Award by the High Council of Spanish architects. She was named Honorary Fellow of the American Institute of Architecture Architects in 2011 and Riva International Fellow in 2013 for her outstanding contribution to architecture. She has studied many different universities and she has been a great professor, a uh, guest professor, including universities in Venice, Paris, in, in, in Illinois, in Urbana Champaign, and Harvard, Columbia University, and Cole Politan de Federale Lucerne, and so on. And I, I just wanted to do a brief introduction. I became um, very interested in Carmen's work and especially a project that she developed uh, early in the 90s uh, called uh, the Havana Project in which she collaborated with people like Wolf Briggs, Lewis Wood, Tom Main, Eric Owen Moss, uh, and, and so on. So the title of Carmen lecture is Context. And I, I think that probably one of the most influential pieces of, of the work that she's done, at least that influenced me, was the, dealing with the context of, of Havana, Cuba, and trying to come up with a reconciliation of how can an architect actually create an intervention there. Um, she participated in this conversation that I was later exhibited at the MAG, but at the same time, it was part of a publication called the Havana Project Architecture again. And I just wanna end 
If you haven't read the book, I highly, highly recommend it, but I just want to end with a quote uh, from the book that it says, but architecture is always an interpretation of life, a philosophy of life. If we don't have an idea of how we want things to happen, it is impossible to have an architecture. And with that, I welcome uh, Carmen Pines. Hey. Uh, I, I, I like to see the, this photograph. You must send me the photograph. I don't have this one. I will. Yeah. Okay. I, I start. Ivan, I, I must. I start with the lecture. Then we have the. the it, it, it starts with manage, no? Okay. Yeah, you, you can share your screen now. Yeah, you yes. should be able to. Okay, I, I'm going to start with uh, a project that uh, is in the center of Barcelona. And also because my lecture is about context. And, and, uh, and how when you work in, in, in a place on the city, you transform all the city. You know? It's not to, to work like an object that, you no, know, to think all the surrounding and how the perception of our building and our actuation change the perception of all the context. You no. Know? I don't know what happened, but we have all this image. I prefer not to see that. Aquí, ya está. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you see, you see uh, my, uh, the mouse. thing, the mouse? We, we do see the mouse, yes. Yeah. This is, is Barcelona, the center of Barcelona, the old city. And was, uh, the project respond a, a, a competition years ago because there has been a, a very long process. Uh, this is La Rambla, no? And, and the old market here. And for a long time, the, the back part of the La Ramblas have been a, a void uh, that for, because in a moment, the, municip the municipality want to build here a big uh, building in high, but uh, they stop and for years and years, the municipality didn't know how to manage with this space. And uh, okay, uh, they asked the competition, I going to, the competition was uh, to, to transform all this void here. Mm -hmm. uh, and the problem was um, mm, social houses and, and a school. Mm -hmm. When I entered in the competition, the first thing that I did is to try to understand the old city and to observe the geometry of the public space in the old city. No? This is our, our actuation. This is uh, the play that we had to, to act. This is before our project. Mm -hmm. And I observe uh, two kinds of public spaces. No? Here is a very well-known square, that is La Plaza Real, mm, with a very precise geometry. And here is a, 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 a Gothic um, church that surrounding the church appear different uh, public spaces that one articulates the other, no? It's more or less, it's like the void of, no? Uh, uh, and, and I like it, this measure, no? More mm, small, more articulated, with a scale more human. In contraposition, uh, this um, square with this um, clear geometry, but in a way, uh, this is La Plaza Real, this is a square with a clear center. All the, face, uh, the facade of the square are equal that represent a, a, a level of society, the bourgeoisie, that in, a, in, in, in the moment that they build this square was inside the, the walls, the, uh, the walls, hmm? and that was not permitted to go outside the wall. And the, the new bourgeoisie 
uh, wanted to to be represented no and they built this square um, all the facade look at itself with a clear center no but i i thought that in our case and this is the the other uh, space much more middle ages no that this is small um, square that one enter in, in dialogue and in articulation with the other, no? And, and create a spaces more, uh, a scale more quotidian, more domestic. Mm? Uh, and, and this is the lines that the, the competition of, in a way, um, more related with the La Plaza Real, no? A geometry with a clear center, mm, with a, a a building facing the other hmm? and uh, i thought that was no no the 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 the, the thing that can represent the geometry that represent the the, the reality of this neighborhood this neighborhood that is, Rab is raval this is a neighborhood with a different uh, a lot of uh, different uh, social classes that one over the other that mix um, very dynamic and um, also because this is this part are social center a uh, social housing uh, this building must have a, a very representative school the escuela masana the oldest school in barcelona from the uh, that belong at uh, the municipality, and these other two uh, faces, the back part of the boqueria, that was very, in the moment, very ugly. And I thought, okay, these uh, three, these four uh, facades, so different, looking at a, a, a center, and also make this geometry and make uh, uh, to arrive at, uh, at, the, at the squares through this small uh, street and thinking with the, uh, uh, you see the reality of, of, of in, in this time of the back part of the Boqueria, no? It was a disaster, no? Uh, and uh, uh, this facade um, looking at that center and, okay. And I say, it's the project that I make with the observation of different points of view, no? This is a, a, a point of view from, uh, from La Calle del Carmen, no? And uh, our territory was all these houses, all these houses had to be um, demolished, no? Demolished. Uh, and I make, a, I point, this corner, no? In a way, this corner for me is the 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 most point, the, the, the most important point in the school. Is, uh, we work to transform this corner in the main facade. Hmm? And also the observation of the passage uh, uh, is this, that the, the competition uh, as to build the house here, in a way, the competition said, mm, finish this passage with a facade. Mm? And I said, no, I don't want, uh, at the end of this passage, I want to, to see the tree, to see the sun, and to put the facade as far as I can. Mm? And this is our result. Mm? Uh, the thing that I did, this is the facade with this uh, movement is, uh, is the first movement and from here we start the project and I say this is the first decision no to continue the facade here hmm? and the passage to continue underneath the building hmm? and how we cut all this part we had to put the, this part that we got in some place because uh, the number of housing and the, the volume, uh, the, meet, uh, the square meter was uh, 
necessary to to respond because we wanted to win the 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 competition and making less housing is not the best way to win no? and we cut here and we put this the this piece that we cut here um, making this area more a more a less scale and also we make this movement i sorry i go we make this small movement also to make emphasis at the corner that i named it before and also to create this articulation of of a small uh, public spaces no and and the same way this the school no here we make this movement to create in front of the entrance, we decide to put the entrance here. Um, this also, uh, this other public space, no. And uh, how I say, we decide all these decisions came from uh, the observation of the movement of the of the people. We spend uh, a lot of time sitting in a bar that we find in this place in this place before the our construction uh, construction and um, we observe the movement of the people no passing uh, in this direction crossing no and uh, i say that is a project that uh, follow the movement of the people hmm? uh, here the after uh, the competition was only this building and these houses uh, after uh, mm, we won the competition. Uh, we received the commission of the the third facade, hmm? but I explain later. Hmm? Yeah, you see, this is the the movement of people that pass underneath, and hmm? and another passage here, and and we permit to pass underneath of our building, hmm, the continuation of the passage. Uh, this is um, yeah the, the project done and how at the end of the passage uh, don't appear a facade the building appear far mm, and the corridor continues underneath mm. this is the 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 house the housing no how um, the, the 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 building in a way is like uh, something a volume that take a shape following the movement of the people no uh, they make connection with the the other uh, facade mm? uh, the uh, movement the people ask to pass underneath um, uh, the other passage that appear here and we make this cantilever to permit the the view of the people uh, to the square when cross the the passage here the entrance no here you see hmm? no say long ah and this is the the corner that i said you know uh, this is the project you finish how this corner you will see when i explain the masana is the corner that appear the cantilever but where the 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 the, 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 the building take more expression hmm? Um, here, well, how uh, with the housing? I I, I say that uh, is three is a square that have three facade and half facade respond at the thing that have half behind it. No, in a way here we wanted to be part of the housing of the old city. The 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 halls are with a domestic scale, similar of the houses that we have. Uh, near, no. In a way, we want to be part of the old city, no. It's not a contraposition. Mm? And you see how here, no, the 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 facade continue with our facade, no. And and we make uh, the uh, some kind of rhythm, some uh, with the movement of the of, of the windows, no. Uh, uh, in a moment, the windows are in a side of the room and none other in the other side when it's a, a bedroom the the window is uh, is on inside and when it's a, a living room the the window go up I, I, like that you you make some kind of a rhythm of, of some 
No, I say that before the 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 old people make with the ornament uh, the rhythm of the facade. Nowadays, uh, our language is much more abstract. No, uh, same that we we don't manage with ornament, but we, we manage very well with the composition and in the abstract composition. No, and, and now uh, this is a model of the competition with not the facade of La Boqueria. Mm? And we received the, the, the commission of the facade later. But when we, we make the, the school, uh, we start to talk with the, the, the professors of the school. And at and, and, and the moment we start the project, the school was in this old um, hospital with a very beautiful uh, Co court, court uh, yeah. courtyard in, in the middle, and uh, the the professor said, uh, was very afraid to 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 go a, a very urban school. No, they was accustomed to have his own uh, garden, and they moved because it was with no condition, and and the most, uh, municipal decided to to move. Uh, to the, this new building, no, and the the thing that uh, I start thinking with terrace offer to the student open spaces, no, and also with this uh, desire uh, to make a building not to face to a center, you know, to create dynamism, movement. That and also because this building is very big, it's eleven thousand meters. I don't know in feet what it means, but it's a very big. And I, I wanted not to appear like a, build, big, a big building, no? Uh, because if you observe, uh, our sixth floor. But with this uh, uh, decision to make like two volumes, mm, uh, that we don't see the difference uh, level. And to broken, creating uh, a square, uh, creating terrace, no? I move, no? Is, uh, you see how this brisole, this element that was made for us, uh, don't permit to see the different um, levels, no? The composition, again, is, is an abstract competition that try to, to, um, to offer a, a, a building that appear less big, no? Because it observes on six floor, hmm? and also the composition of the uh, of the halls hmm? that are terrace uh, are in, in this composition um, not showing that uh, one, two, three floor, no? Because you 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 see, because because the the the, the solution of the school is very easy. It's two else no that all the the workshops are facing to the exterior hmm? and the corridor uh, a courtyard inside no and uh, there are two uh, bridges no? hmm? that connect the two ls no but each uh, but, uh, each bridge finish with a uh, terrace hmm? but instead to to, to stay one bridge over the other, the bridges make this small movement that when you see at the exterior, you see this movement, no? And, and also with this other movement, uh, the, the lecture of the building, it's more um, sculptoric, no? Uh, uh, and the scale seems a much more a big scale. I show you the housing that the the scale of the hall is very domestic. Here is more abstract, it's more more sculptoric, hmm? and uh, you see this. Uh, no, is uh, this is the small. I explained to the stu uh, student before that we start with the sketches, but very uh, at the second step we start to make a small model that express. The concept, no, and here uh, in this model, you, we see that the project is two L's, clear two L's, mm? 
and uh, these holes that trap that uh, atraviesa uh, travers no cross all the, the building no from the, the the back part through this bridge you see the square hmm? and the corner no this corner that that you perceive uh, perceive from the the main street la, la calle del carmen and is this corner that we uh, make the entrance no and uh, all the country libraries where the speak, uh, the building take more tension no and you you observe that the the scale and the composition is more sculpture because it's a, it's a school it's a, a building institutional must be singular this and also because in front of us uh, we have a big space created for for us right? this square is made uh, we made three facades of this square we 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 can be more sculptural more with more expression when uh, the building arrived to the old city uh, the color is more like the stone that we have uh, 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 near us and the halls became more flat and and small, no. And this is the the, the glass and uh, that closed the courtyard. And this is the lem the element that uh, cover all the facade hmm? that made in ceramic and made by us. Hmm? And this is no. Uh, in a way, all the, the windows are behind uh, all the ceramic. The, the only uh, hall that you perceive is the, the terrace at the end of the, the bridges. Hmm? And when, I must say that these elements have two functions. One function is to protect the intimacy of the student. No? And, and another function is to appear like a, a backstage, a courting backstage of the square. Hmm? In a way, imagine all the uh, war, uh, workshops hmm, facing the square. Uh, the properties, the, the, the student uh, take the square, no? The, the people from the square uh, have, would be intimity intimidados intimidated uh, by by uh, the student and in uh, the other way the same the the intimacy of of the student um, with no protection like a tv uh, everybody seeing what they doing no uh, in a way this uh, uh, element protect the intimacy and also from both ways hmm? eh? Yeah, uh, this is the, the areas, no, that these are small spaces, uh, uh, public, that I wanted to make a necklace of these smallest spaces, no? Mm? And then, you, know, uh, you see, this is the, the entrance. I decided to put the entrance of the school in this area facing this passage that connect with the old uh, school, eh? the, the old uh, courtyard. Mm? and also protected from the tourists, uh, not now, but <laughs> from the people that use the, the, the square, no? And also because the square is, uh, is over a parking, no? And uh, the municipality suggests, and we decide also to do, is to put the exit of the parking and, and everything uh, in our project, no? And this is the exit of the parking. And when people go out of the parking, the first thing that see is a big window that show the, the, the exhibition, the gallery of the school, no? And in contraposition of the exterior, that the exterior seem very solid, very hermetic in a way, hermetic? And the interior is ab absolutely the contrary. In the interior is very transparent. Everybody see everybody uh, with a lot of light, 
uh, you see all the movement, everything that moves in this school is observed. Eh? When you enter only in the lobby, you see all the people working and moving. And it's, it's, it's like a, a, a private war, no? Lo digo bien. And, and also because uh, the, the, the light arrived from uh, um, three sides, more than three sides, uh, the, the lines of the sun each, in each moment different inside, no? And this is the, the, the bridge that I, I, I explained you before. Hmm? Eh? You see how sometimes it's like that, another like this. And, and the courtyard, because we like to, to, to show this like a courtyard, instead to make a fence here, we, we decide uh, to, to make the, the protection of the corridor like windows, no? Hmm? Uh, also because a fence is something that explains too my too much too much a, a void, no? And I I want to appear like uh, that like a street, and it's a street with three facade, no? The the roof is, is the third facade. Hmm? Is this and this is window that there are here there are classes, but this is corridor, but. Uh, appeared the same way, and the surface facade is 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 the the ceiling. A little bit, maybe no. No, this is, and I I like the, this. No, this the, in each moment when you move in the school, you, you realize all the time in so beautiful place you are. You see from here, you see the square. When you pass through this enormous window. Uh, you see the, the whole hospital. You are floating all the time uh, with the perception of the city. Hmm? You don't feel because the, the professor express us the, 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 the worrying, the worry, the worrying that uh, to, to move from a school, a, school, a school with a garden to a urban space. A clause, and I offer the opposite: a, 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 a building completely open, completely facing all the time the city. Hmm? And this is the, the these elements uh, in the interior. I explain sometimes that the school uh, respond to three realities. One reality is the exterior, more uh, solid, more sculptural. Uh, the interior um, with a lot of uh, light, uh, the place that the corridor full of light, full of view, and this the classroom. This classroom is much more intimate and also with a, a perception more like uh, industrial, more like a workshop. You know? uh, this is the class, the pink uh, picture. Mm -hmm. And when the building uh, uh, go in at the other street mm, here that we don't have uh, so many space in front, appear more flat with the, uh, the color, how I explained before, more mm, uh, similar of the thing that we have near. Mm. And also because we don't want to show an enormous building. For that reason, appear like two colors. Same, it's a collage of mm, of different actuation, no? Mm, but in the, the interior is very mm, clear and and with uh, one solution. It's not uh, the interior is not fragmented. It's two L's, but uh, exterior we like to be more fragmented to make our relation with the surrounding uh, easier. And the part and uh, at the middle of the project, we receive the commission to make the, the new facade of the Boqueria, no? Uh, it's, it's here. Hmm? 
And when we receive the commission, we say, I don't want to make a facade because to make a facade or la boqueria means transform the, the, this roof in, in a building. And this roof had uh, never been a building. It had been a roof uh, provisional, but now it's permanent, but are not really good uh, quality. And to make a facade is to transform in, in something uh, beer limits uh, a building in a way. But uh, they said me, okay, but we have problem with the light, we have problem with the wind, we when, when have uh, we we have problem with the water when when it rains. We must have a solution of that. I say, okay, let me uh, see how I can resolve this. And, and the solution was to make roof in another dimension, smaller, and enter inside the, the other roof. And also because uh, this building that was uh, made before with a remodelation of the Boqueria that take a lot of protagonism that uh, I, I didn't like. And I wanted to, to put this building in second uh, plan. Hmm? And for that reason, I say, okay, uh, we are going to make the roof smaller and pass it over. At the beginning, we we start making the, the same structure, the same uh, porticos, hmm? porticos uh, uh, but smaller. But what happened when we arrive here, instead to make this in second plan, uh, we make emphasis at the center, no? Eh? And seems to make a fronton. Eh? And take a, a lot of time to decide to change, instead to make a portico, to make like umbrella, no? This. And eh, eh, when you arrive here, you see this umbrella, hmm? make emphasis in here, because so, I don't know if you see me, but when you make eh, a portico, I, sorry. When you make a, a portico, you make emphasis of here. When you make a, a, a umbrella, uh, the, the emphasis go in this direction and this. When you make here, like this umbrella, uh, you make uh, emphasis in this part and in this part, and you pass over the building, and, and then it's second plan. Hmm? It's this, no? And this one before us, but I think the responsibility for an architect is to transform the city in in good way. Uh, in I mean, I wanted to make dignity of this building. I I, I hate this building, but uh, it's not say no no we are another thing. It's also to transform this building and also uh, with more dignity. And and I think with our active uh, actuation everything bec become like one unity and this building takes more dignity than before and less protagonist also. Hmm? And this is our actuation, no? That is not a facade, eh? but again, is, is a, a roof, a market with a scale more human, more a scale of, uh, a domestic square. Hmm? Then another project, and this is La Casa Forum. Again, the context is so important, and the lecture of the city, hmm? the lecture of the city. Uh, uh, our side was see, uh, again another competition. We won this competition, and was a. Uh, um, I don't know if you know the Casa Forum in Madrid, the Herzog de Meron, a beautiful building. Uh, it's the same program. It's two rooms uh, for exhibition, but no permanent exhibition. Uh, it, um, uh, a temporal exhibition. Uh, uh, some, uh, 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 some lecture rooms, uh, um, auditorium, and a cafeteria and offices. Uh, the problem was not very complicated, but the most important was these two 
uh, showroom, this um, exhibition. Ex exhibition room, one double of the other, no? The situation was here, hmm? and this was the, before this was uh, the place of the train full of uh, rails, hmm? and this is the old city, you see the, the traces of the wall, the, the ancient wall, hmm? and uh, the new neighborhood, the, the, the poor and, and worker neighborhood that for years had been separate of the old city from the rail, rail the, of, of the train. Hmm? And uh, with the new um, master plan, uh, they transform all this area in, in a park and in several buildings facing the old city. No? But I say, okay, again, uh, the, the neighborhood, the worker neighborhood in the back part and, and, and all the new building facing the old city. Mm? And I say, no, I, I don't want to, to, to make again a, 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 a wall, a, a barrier, separation. a separation, no? I, I want that, to transform the building like a, a door that connect the, the neighborhood, the working neighborhood with the old city. Mm? and also the park with the old city and transform the, the, the building in a door. Mm? And this is the, the, square, uh, the sketches, you see how the sketches, like the furniture that explained at the student that asked me before, the sketches are very simple. I, I, I show you the, the, the school is two L's eh, with a courtyard in the middle. Here is two square that cross making a, a, a square in the middle that is a support and a beam that cross in diagonal supporting in cantilever the two rooms. Mm? And uh, we study the, the room for exhibition, the exhibition room, and it is it, important to, to make a long uh, parkour. No, recorridos, uh, promenade, I don't know. And uh, a, uh, exhibition room in L work quite well, no? And, and with the, one is the double of the other and how we wanted the building be the door of the connection, uh, it was clear that must be suspended, no? And is uh, the, in the, in the square in the middle, the supporting of the two columns. This was a little at the beginning before, uh, and we start with this small model uh, here. We didn't know well how to support all that, but we start to, to make a different um, model. And then this is the small model that here uh, is, absolutely the, the, the shape that arrived at the end, no? Uh, these are two walls, no? in a way, this wall arrived until here, hmm? and the same that's here, arrived here, and these two other is the supporting, no? Um, for the reason how this wall arrived from here, we can cut this way. Uh, the other that uh, are the contraposition, the other we can cut also. Mm? And that express, and, and this uh, shape, of, uh, uh, sorry, let's go to the structure, no? Uh, you see this, how I right here and finish with the pillar, no? For that reason, we cut. Here, continues with the stairs, eh? and we cut. Mm? And these are the contraposition of it. And, the, the enormous beam eh, is, is here, you see, an enormous beam here and the other here. Eh, we will see then uh, here. Hmm? Is the, 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 the center is the column that support um, the, the beam, but the beam uh, in the last floor 
are all the cafeteria, the installation is uh, here, and the, the exhibition rooms mm, are completely free of, of uh, any pillars, any structure, no? And uh, I must say that I wanted to put the, the, the rooms because the relation uh, between one exhibition and another are no relation in a, uh, in, a, uh, in a room can be an exhibition of a Roman art and in the other, I don't know, a Pollock. Eh? And I say, we need to uh, the, the uh, this compression. No? When you see Roman art, you must uh, take a, a breath to prepare to see Pollock hmm? in a way. And I say, okay, I don't want to put one uh, class uh, exhibition uh, room in front of another and one over the other. No, I, I, I make this decalage, no, uh, that when you go out of one exhibition room, uh, because this is si uh, six meters, you can see the underneath of the uh, the other the, the beam this is two meters hmm? you can see the city eh? you can take a breath and to prepare with the mechanic escalator to see the other exhibition no and for me this was clear from the beginning eh? from the first uh, uh, no sorry to go but from the first a sketch from the first uh, model, the, the, this to put one uh, with different level, and, and no one over, no one in front of the other, no, mm -hmm. to have this decompression. Mm -hmm. And this is the model that uh, with this model we win the competition, no. Uh, I say, okay, this is the, the, the door, no. And we had the problem. What happened with the underneath of the other volume? No, because a door is a door. It's not to pass underneath the building. It's to make a door. That means that uh, underneath of the other volume, that's not permitted to pass. And at the beginning, we was with a lot of disorientation. What can happen? But in a moment, they say, okay. We, we're going to make a garden, no, this hall, a garden going down and to arrive to take the, the people from the uh, in, in, uh, underground that um, we make this, uh, uh, the situation of the um, uh, auditorium, no? You, you will see. This is the construction. We start the construction with the walls. You see the, the, the wall, how we cut, uh, but to, to express a little something that is in the middle of the part, again, it's cultural, again, we, we wanted to appear something small. Eh? We, we make tricks with the scale. When you see um, how big is the actuation, huh? but uh, when you see how everything is being done appear like so big. For example, uh, also because it's so geometric, is these two squares that cut, uh, cut, uh, cut hmm? it's a cruzan, cross, yeah. hmm? and uh, we had to make two stairs, but we didn't have enough enough space to make uh, the square, not the square, the solar, the stair, and we decide to put the stair uh, outside, but we don't want to express and show this like a stair and if this stair that is the fire stair arrive uh, to the the ground appear clear like a stair but in a moment we cross and we jump to another to the other side of the wall and we transform the the fence of the stair a big in this big scale, no, that the fence have more than three me meters, and appear like an, an orm ornament of the the walls, no, and nothing show that this is the second stair. Hmm? Uh, yeah, 
okay uh, and the lobby the lobby uh, face the street and is completely independent of the structure no is here no uh, it's, it's like the two two um, uh, exhibit rooms is floating and the lobby is an element that seems that go to the street to pick up the people mm? and, uh, no and on the last floor uh, when we are uh, because uh, they asked me very neutral nothing distort the art we can express anything in the uh, in the uh, exhibit roof and when we arrive at the uh, the roof and the cafeteria everything is expression uh, the curtain uh, have a guide that uh, make uh, these drawings you no know, that uh, you just see it later mm? and this is the, the the garden that go down to pick up the people uh, because uh, the people arrive the, with this is mechanical stair no and when go down uh, see the light arriving here and we go out of the exhibition uh, out of the concert go through the park let, let, let's see but you see also the the drawing that we make in facade eh, to make everything it's big scale no for example uh, if you observe the relation of the building with the 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 building that we have behind you realize how big is but don't, don't same no for example this uh, big is this is a uh, window have more than five meters meter here no everything is made with this desire to appear small mm? to change the perception of the scale no mm? uh, the, the two walls no and also the 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 lobby that this is the street that the lobby go in the direction to the street to as the people enter, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I must say that at the moment that we make this building, the the municipality had the big crisis of the eighty, twenty eighty, no eight eight, and they didn't have money uh, to destroy uh, to and and. Uh, yeah, to make the park and and uh, they well, I, I, you will see later. Mm? But that uh, instead a, a door now this area became like a a square because it doesn't exist the park behind. Mm? And the interior, the interior are again the 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 dynamism, you know, because this. Uh, all this area, this is the lobby, but a structure completely different of the structure of the uh, exhibit rooms, no? And we make this big uh, beam that, that, yes, this was a connection with the structure of the, uh, the rest of the building. But uh, to support all the, uh, this ceiling, we need pillar. But I didn't want pillar, mm -hmm. like, I want to express dynamism, but because also the elevator was behind the the, the desk, no? And I say, okay, the, the pillar must uh, go with me to show the, the way to arrive to the elevator, no? And uh, instead to, if you imagine one pillar, one pillar is something static, no? But to express dynamism, with two, it's much more easy. And also if these two uh, cross in different position and instead to go in a, uh, to, to support the ceiling, it's going to, to enter in a, a skyline. No, skylight. no, a skylight, no? Because this pillar support the cra the, this cross, cro cross. cross, this cross. And this cross is the, the, the element that support the, the ceiling no and these pillars are always full of light natural light 
and the natural light change all the time. And that express movement, express dynamics. And it's the dynamics that go with you mm, to show the, the way that the elevator are. Mm. And uh, the, again, the, 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 the building outside, it's very solid, but inside it's, it's, it's very, it's transparent. In, when you see the here, it's very transparent. When you enter here, uh, it's a skyline, a skylight uh, with natural light, and also the stairs that are protected by fire, always with windows um, to, to see uh, in each moment the building. And the situ you perceive very clear in each moment your situation in, in the building where you are. Hmm? And then the stairs have uh, windows. In is a, a fire stair, but I wanted to to show the city and the building in, in all moment. No, and this is the entrance of the the exhibition room with the big pillar. Mm. And also, uh, I fight a lot with the client because they didn't permit me to make this gallery. No, but I wanted not to make to 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 show two boxes, a, a, a vegler, no, a blind to the, to the city. I wanted to, to show to the city ha what happened inside the, the building, no? For that reason, to make at the corner a gallery, no? Uh, with big um, window that you see the city, no? And also the city see the people uh, walking, no? And uh, uh, the last floor is the cafeteria that uh, all the, 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 the structure, for example, you see here the enormous beam that pass uh, with no problem, uh, cross in diagonal of the, of the restaurant, the guide of the different uh, curtain that make dif uh, different areas in the restaurant. No, this is a, a curtain. This is the guy at when his claws is, is like a cylinder. And we design the uh, the tables and you see clear, no the, and you you see how the, the building inside is is transparent, it's full of light, and outside like the the masana same something solid something sculptural no mm -hmm. and how the the section when you are uh, in the big volume um, uh, in the cafeteria uh, you are at the level of, of the top of the a small level and and this uh, here appear a, a big terrace uh, i don't know see here you you see no uh, when you are here, hmm, it's in the level of the top of the small volume, and also the beam here. It I cut the beam, and here the beam are much more smaller, and that permit us to make enormous uh, jardineras, enormous uh, pots, enormous container that permit uh, to plant trees on the top. Hmm? And this is the the uh, the escalator that go down to the ground floor, uh, no ground floor, underneath at the level of the auditorium. That when you go down, you see the light arriving from the garden. No, and this is the auditorium, and this is the garden that go down. No, and that is the the element of, that permit to 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 arrive the the light in on their nest, no? And and the building, these big uh, drawings uh, uh, that permit also to change this, the perception of the scale of the building are um, lights that at nine I say it's not a building that needs to be illuminate. 
no? Illuminate. It's the contrary. It's a, a building that illuminates the city. Hmm? Uh, and also, again, is it's holes, it's the drawing that make with holes that uh, go out the light through these holes. And you see that big drawing make a small, the big windows. And this is simple, almost six meters, no? No, yes. but uh, this light is uh, only a couple of hours at night. I don't want uh, to be something that disturbs the, the peace of the people, seeing all the time during all the night the light. And I asked to, because this is a, an advertisement. This is the, behind this uh, is a, a, a bank, and uh, they want to be seen. They want, it's a, a singular building, but also to show the power of the bank, to show how this uh, foundation offer culture to the city must be seen. And for that reason, we, we uh, um, suggest to, to the client to make light and, and the, 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 this blue is the color of the, of the cash of the bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, another, another project, mm -hmm. I'm going to go quickly because it's, but this is, um, a project, uh, it's very a small project, it's a pavilion, it's a pavilion in Australia. Um, I received this, the commission, I received a telephone call from a woman saying, do you want to make a pavilion in Australia? I said, what? Yes, she explained in the telephone the, uh, that this is a, a pavilion that this person, had, this, uh, a sponsor, that offer uh, uh, to the city each year uh, a pavilion that during uh, four months, the city take advantage of this intervention and make actuation and, and it's like, and, and performance. And the pavilion before me is this one. This is a very ugly photograph from the Google but uh, show this is the pavilion Renculjas. And when I received the telephone call and the, this sponsor told me that the pavilion before me was made by Renculjas. And uh, she sent me, you can do everything you want and I start to say, uh, to think, and I, I couldn't imagine anything. I, also, because the program was so simple, it's only one roof to permit to make actions, no, in the middle of the park, and also the pressure that before me was rem. And I start to think, to think in abstract, and I couldn't imagine. I, I couldn't manage. But when I arrive at the site. And I, I, I start to observe. I start, I was so easy in a moment. I make the, the project with a small paper in the in the plane going back to the studio, no? And you observe here these circles, no? This, this circle here are small mon uh, monticles Mons. and months, I sorry, months, no, that a uh, the people stayed there, no? I, 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 here is the context that the, we have. These mounds, three mounds, no? Here with the palms, and here the, the a fountain. And this is the basement because uh, the pavilion changed each year, but the mass um, in the basement is always the same. Mm? And we have the possibility to make a, a 60 meet a, a circumference a, a circle of 60 meters mm? and we must make the actuation inside this no and i say okay i want to make something with this mountain mount, mounts. mounts 
No, also because I observed when I went there that the people uh, were sitting in these mounds, hmm? and instead to be sitting uh, here, no, in the green, that's all sitting in the mounds, no, and also because in front at the procession of the skyline of the city, no. And I say, okay, I want to make something that take care, take, no, this is the, the small, again, uh, model that we make. Uh, with, it's so simple, it's, it's two uh, plants that uh, fall, no, and cross, mm? and with the fall, this is the supporting, and the third supporting right? is the mound, no? And one cross the other, no, and uh, also the the uh, Naomi, that is the sponsor, said me, you can do everything you want, but please protect us from the rain, from the water. He said, okay, I I'm going to to play with the water. Eh? I want uh, to see the water when it rain, mm? and for that reason the the. The, this is the, the solution. Uh, these two plants is make with brisole. Uh, uh, I don't know. The, you will see. I don't know the uh, name, but you see that permit to see the the water uh, running. running down. Hmm? Uh, this is the the uh, I make three months. One, to protect the wind, but they say, okay, uh, you make something open because Renkul has, was, the project of Renkul has, was much more close. It, it worked a lot, but the thing that I find beautiful, but when it was empty, was really empty. And I say, no, we, I want to offer something that appear never empty. When there are not people inside, there is something like a furniture in the middle of the park that the people uh, can cross through and to see it and using use as they want. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> but they say me. Ah, but we have uh, here a lot, of, uh, a lot of wind. You must protect from the wind that come from in this direction. Okay, no problem. I make the the third mount eh? and also with the 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 support the the plant that fall and and now we are protected from the wind in this direction and in this direction here you open to see the city hmm? and no this and also how i want to to play with the water uh, all the water glitz glitz uh, yeah. run uh, over the ceiling and uh, with a canalization arrive to the mount to the, uh, the mount no one mount is empty to storage. to uh, sto uh, storage uh, the element that we need to make actuation hmm? this is the no uh, we make it in wood no uh, it's two layers of wood uh, in the middle, a um, uh, plastic metroquilato, no, say metroquilato, that uh, 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 it's two layer because one um, uh, stop the noise of the, the rain. of the rain, no, because the rain that go to the the metroquilato make another noise, no, and we make two layer one to protect from the noise, uh, the other to, uh, and in the middle, uh, the metraquilato. Mm? And this, no? Mm? Uh, it, it's, it's very simple, again. And also, I discovered that we resolve normally all our project with two, maximum three elements. It's very easy to find, uh, for example, a masana, some two L's, uh, um, Kasha forums so, uh, two, two squares. Cubes. See, here is two plants and uh, then fall, but 
it's two maximum three hmm? yeah but you see it's more like an element and a sculptural element in, in in the middle of the park that is never empty eh? because you can cross and there are full of photographs that people see it hmm? no and yes it's, it's, it's again in a small sculptor but work very well i like make project that are perceived like sculptural like something abstract but in a in a way work a lot and always with a, a scale human scale hmm? our, 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 our perception a quality an abstract quality but uh, with um, a human scale because you can use each project with a lot of uh, facility and it worked our project worked very well <laughs> because the pro we take very serious the project uh, the program estoy hablando mal no uh, uh, and you see a furniture no this is the the bunches we create in this for this occasion uh, what the problem that we had is uh, we don't create enough places to sit and also we offer this space uh, uh, that the actuation can be in the center can be in an angle can be in different uh, situation but when is when the actuation appear in an angle uh, we need seats in the middle of, of the space but didn't by the, they didn't have a space to to keep these bunches and uh, sorry, stools, stools. Mm -hmm. and we create this stool that is three pieces no very simple with no one nail no you see one two that cross and then the the third one that uh, made and they with this that fix and don't take a, a space you know you see here when when the actuation is in a corner and you see the the canal that uh, you you see run all the water that arrive here in the canal and the uh, uh, the water go glis no se dice glis go to the mountain no with the mount hmm? and this is the the stall stools the stools no and you see how the this space open uh, facing to to the city hmm? the, the tools i like the tools i like uh, small animals hmm? and the last one very quickly is the ampliation of one hotel here is uh, are not urban is countryside and and this is a old monastery now an hotel that has to make ampliation with the an spa but the most difficult thing was to create four villas eh, in in the middle of the uh, the landscape four houses in a way hmm? and again uh, to study a little the context this is the territory in mallorca uh, all the mountain is full of this wall in, in stone hmm, that make this kind of terrace hmm? uh, and this is the the area our before our actuation you you see the walls here hmm? this terrace no hmm? and this was the they made they asked to make ampliation of the this basement you see this basement that is the spa they asked to make this bigger hmm? and to uh, to build four houses here in the middle huh? and but this we they say okay uh, these lines, hmm? these are the first sketches. Hmm? Uh, we transform uh, the wall in, in making this movement. That in movement is a house. No, here you have more concrete. No, uh, this one house, another house, another house. No, hmm? and, the, and the roof hmm? is garden. No, this is uh, the then. No. 
the basement before it out like this, we make the, uh, this is the ampliation of the spa and one house, two, three, four house. Mm -hmm. uh, this is how you perceive these houses from the, the, the hotel that you don't see the houses, you see landscape, you see a, a garden, the continuation of the garden, no? When you face, hmm, uh, this is the ampliation of the spa that uh, instead, because the client asked very asked to make something very transparent with a lot of glass. I didn't want glass. I didn't want to appear the passement of, of the old building uh, with glass. I wanted to appear like something more solid and we create this kind of, of shadows, no? Hmm? And the new uh, villas are um, uh, behind these walls. Hmm? Uh, you see, this is the ampliation, always with this um, grisole, the pergolas, hmm? that make the glass uh, in the second line. Hmm? And, and this is the different, this is the beginning when the, the, the vegetation was no, no grow. Grow up, you know, okay. eh? but uh, each villa is behind, and, and the, the beautiful of this villa, uh, uh, each one seems that are completely alone because you see this is facing this direction, and the other face in the, uh, the other direction. No, this you see, this is the one villa, the other villa, and each one uh, see the landscape that seems that belong to them. No. And you know, this is the perception. This is the, the plan. You, know? uh, uh, you go down, uh, here you enter uh, uh, the living one uh, uh, room, bedroom facing, and, and the other, uh, the wall make this small movement, you no? Know? And the second uh, see through the wall. You know? I don't know if it's one. No. Uh, but the, the, the thing, when you go down, you, you see the landscape. It's always a relation between to see, not to see. Mm -hmm. And it's finished. I don't know. I, I, I didn't fi I find very comfortable with my English. Uh, we, we, we could understand everything, Carmen. And, yeah. and the images speak from for themselves too. So, Brendan, I think you want to take it from here. Yeah, no, I think um, no, the lecture was fantastic. I mean, the scale of work that you, you work across is just um, amazing. Um, so, I'm going to bring in a, a few questions from the students that um, I got kind of during the lecture. Yeah. And again, thank you so much for a fantastic lecture, also on top of that. Um, so, this one's coming from Raz, who's a student here. And uh, she's asking, you clearly put a lot of thought into um, kind of the relationship of your projects to the context. And she's asking, how do you see that kind of changing over time as the context kind of evolves? And obviously, you're also working in many different um, kinds of biomes, right, from the kind of urban to the kind of more natural. And uh, I guess really to summarize the question, how do you see your projects evolving over time in relationship to their context? It, it, it's, it's to be very attentive of the context. It, it's to, uh, each to, uh, context to, talk to you eh? and ask you to make something. Eh? Uh, when I start working with uh, uh, the, the hotel, it was clear that the landscape Ask me not to disturb, not to to make something ag aggressive, to be, and also uh, the 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 old hotel, the old monastery, us to to make something uh, heavy on the basement, no no fragile, no, is 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 to be very attentive, is to observe. Uh, for example, in Melbourne, without seeing the context, I couldn't do anything in abstract. 
I, for months, I start to make sketches, 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 and, and, and I didn't arrive at any, 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 any place. And when I arrived there, and I observed the people uh, sitting in the mount, 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 mounts. mounts, and the landscape, and and how the people use the the old um, uh, pavilion, all these things start to ask me to do something. Is is like to be attentive. I say to the student that we must be always with antennas. Antons, eh? and to perceive everything, everything. Mm? And not with prejudice, not with something, not with change, with shapes that you uh, go with you and you are waiting at the place that you put pop. No, it's to be more relaxed, more attentive, always with the antons and listen, listen a lot. Listen the people, listen the client, listen, mm? and then with all this information, uh, the ideas appear. Mm? But uh, it's important to uh, to learn to listen, and to listen the landscape told to you, the city told to you. You must learn to 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 listen the the city, to listen the the landscape. Is correct to listen listen to. Listen to. Huh? Mm. It's, I don't know. It's, 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 I, I can say it's easy. I don't know. It's easy. It's, it's, it's fascinating. It's easy because uh, you are so, I don't know, exciting uh, to try to understand what the city are asking for. Uh, Sure, sometimes you make mistakes, but if you are attentive, it's, it's not so complicated to, to find an answer, a response correctly. Hmm? Thank you. No, I think that's a fantastic answer. Um, this one's coming from Samuel Schroeder. Uh, he asked it from YouTube. Um, when researching the materiality for the facades and the interiors of your projects, how important is the relation of the surrounding urban materials and the complementary or contrasting effects produced? Sorry, I need the uh, help. Yeah, no, no, no worries. I can repeat that. Or, uh, no. Olga can help me. Yeah. The material of the material is the entorno and what effect you want to achieve? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it's so important to choose the materials. Eh? Also the material, not only the project as mm, a, some, also the context eh, as which kind of material you must use. For example, eh, in, in, in the hotel, it was clear that eh, I have to work with stone. And, and, and uh, in La Masana, uh, I wanted to, to appear more sculptural. I must to, to cover the, the windows. Eh? Uh, I need to a brisole. And, and the ceramic, and also this ceramic is artisanal. It's not, uh, it's not like um, the color change because the production is uh, a small, quantities and each color, each, uh, each time is a little different and that gives some vibration and is more warm. And also for me, it was, was a strong fight with the, the builder because it cost more. But for me, it was essential to have this kind of vibration because I didn't want something massive uh, with a color you need. I, I wanted vibration because in, in the old city is full of vibration. Uh, I was surrounding with all the stone, all painter that was full of vibration I, and I want to offer vibration. But for example, when I arrive in, in the in this, uh, street, no, I choose to change the color to stay uh, more near the color of the the context again, and we make uh, the ceramic was the design of the ceramic was made also for us 
different lines also again. But in, in this, uh, with this ceramic, I, I, I didn't arrive to make uh, artisanal. That's more, for that reason, the color is more flat. But uh, I have to say, okay, because uh, we didn't have enough money. But for me, the, the, the main facade, the facade with all more gesture, uh, with this kind of gesture, you know, this movement, uh, I wanted to appear more human, more warm. Huh? And for me, it was so important to choose this material. It's not only the material, the way that the material is made. Hmm? That's fantastic. Um, so this one's coming from uh, Kat Marshall, uh, Kathy, uh, who is an instructor here at Kent State. Uh, and she asks, your work explores the intersection of built environments, both structure and landscape. The title context is a vital um, word for designers to understand how design proposals fit within the cultural, environmental, and ecological context. Trained as a landscape architect, can you speak to the importance of understanding the site's territory? How does this understanding inform the design of waterfronts, sport parks, gardens, and plazas for you? Again, I don't mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, could could you uh, repeat? Yeah, let me let me summarize. Uh, or maybe Ivan disappear. Ivan is not Ivan. I'm here. Ah, <laughs> hi, hello, Ivan. Can you help us? Because all we are, couldn't understand. La pregunta va de cómo tú incluyes la importancia del paisajismo como en el diseño del desarrollo del del contorno de de no solo de arquitectura pero también del paisajismo y el urbanismo. Como esa, esa parte, como entra en tu trabajo, en la manera que estás viendo cosas, eh, territorios que están, o parcelas que están en, en, al frente del agua, o en plazas, o en cosas así. So, ¿Cómo estás incorporando la cuestión de paisajismo y urbanismo en tus diseños de arquitectura también? Ok, en cuestión de urbanismo, por ejemplo, Mm, la masana, the school, eh, eh, don't have meaning if we, eh, without the rest of them. In a way, I make urbanism. Eh? I designed the, the all the square, three facade, mm? and one project explained the other. Eh? The masana had been a, a a big success. They asked me everywhere, they asked me to be published. And I say, I, they don't understand. The Masana must ex explain with the housing. It, it's the same project. They, the people only ask me for the Masana, the Masana, the Masana, the housing, the, the, the facade of Boqueria, everything is a, is a project that work together. Hmm? And and uh, in a way, architecture have the responsibility to make urbanism. I say architect always is to make city. We don't make a sculpture. Hmm? We make city. Eh? I like to, to show the, the buildings like a, with a, a value, a sculptural value, but we have the responsibility to make city. Architects are always urbanists. Because we make city facing the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the decision where you, you put the door is to make urbanism. Hmm? Uh, to make a facade more important than, than other is to make urbanism. We make city. There are no relation, uh, I mean, the relation architecture and urbanism is complete in a say a, I say to be an architect is to be conscious that we are making always city when you are in urban context when you are not in urban context we are always making landscape because landscape is the territory in a way uh, intel, uh, in intellectual way to see a cultural way to see the, the territory. 
this is landscape, no? Uh, and, and when you make an, an actuation in an, um, a wild territory, we are, we are making landscape. Mm? Uh, when you make a building, we try, we try to control also all the landscape that go with us. For example, in the, in the hotel, all the, the decision of the kind of vegetation, how appear, uh, that we wanted not to appear like a garden, more like a uh, part of the territory. You know? we, uh, we choose the kind of, of vegetation autochthonous from the, the site. No, no, no like an English garden, more like um, Mallorquin countryside. Hmm? I, I answered the question more or less. Yeah, no, I think that was fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, I want to hand it over to Director Bernal and Dean Mustier to kind of wrap it up. And thank you again so much for a fantastic lecture. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, Carmen, for taking the time to show the work. It, it really is amazing to see your thought process and how even Todd, you mentioned the project emerges with very simple ideas, the level of sophistication that they acquire over the process of the architecture as it happens. It's, it's really amazing to see you go through that with your office. Uh, thank you again, and Mark, I don't know, you have a couple of questions. I just would echo, thank you uh, so much for your commitment to architecture, to contexts, uh, to places, to the urban condition, and to teaching us, uh, students who want to learn about the great work you've done. Thank you also to um, Hassan Stab Architects for enabling this. Uh, we're very pleased to have featured this, and it will be on uh, YouTube on our webpage soon as well. So. Thank you again. These are always awkward moments because we can't clap, but we're, we're in, indebted to you. Thank you so much. Good, thanks to you, everybody. Okay. And I suppose uh, I help something to the students uh, to, to be in love with the architecture. <laughs> it's essential <laughs> to support everything that means to be an architect. It's evident. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay. A wonderful evening in uh, in Spain. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Salir. No. Good. Great to meet you. Yeah. Thank you for the translations. <laughs> <laughs>